Hey everybody, it's me, Candy MDP, and today I am going to talk about my hair anxiety. Mm, yep, that's right. I have a hair anxiety or a hair complex, whatever you want to call it. But I get absolutely terrified and anxious and feel so much anxiety whenever I just think about someone else doing my hair. <laughs> and it's for a good reason um however yeah so i thought i would just share some experiences that has led me to this place so i'm going to start off by sharing my experience um going to a department store salon this is one of the reasons why i have hair anxieties this is just one so in another video I'll share some other reasons why but this alone really honestly uh, yeah so I went to I needed to get a trim I needed to get a fresh start because I had been natural for a little bit and um, I felt like my ends were kind of bad and partly because I think I had some shears and I don't think that they were completely they were kind of old and so I, and I did use them and I kind of just felt like my ends were not healthy so I, I, I went to um, I kind of asked someone about because I was like I need to go get my ends trim I really just want to get them trim and honestly I'm a little bit I can be impatient sometimes I do trim my own ends normally at home because I don't really don't care about it being even per se unless it's like completely drastic because my hair is curly and typically people can't tell if one side is longer than the other because of the curls. So um, anyway, I have been wanting to get them trimmed and my sister was unavailable and she's the one that would normally trim my ends whenever I needed a trim. And so I had asked her, and she was like, I can't. And then I had been kind of bugging her about it, and she just was too busy to do them. So I was like, I really, really need to get them trimmed. And so I was like, you know what? And so I had talked to someone, and they said that they had went to um, this particular department store salon, and they had good results. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. You know what? I'm just going to try it. Um, and mind you, at this time, I already really had a hair anxiety, um, like a hair complex. However... I um was just like you know what I'm just gonna go out of the land I need to I need to get rid of this anxiety I just need to stop this this is horrible like you know like pep talking myself like Candace just get over it get over it and go get your ends trimmed so I went to this department store and I was like I gave the lady uh, permission and there was a black lady in there so um I'm not saying that every department store that you go to you will have a bad experience because I know people that go to go get their hair done at other department stores and they they have pretty good experiences so it really just depends on where you go who does your hair um, and I know really I know some stylists that work at department stores and they're they they are freaking awesome okay so anyway I um went to the department store and so I made another assumption that, oh, she's black. She knows what she's doing. I think I even may have possibly asked her if she has done, if she did natural hair before. And she said that she did. And so I just told her I wanted, you know, wash in. I just wanted to wash it and um, to turn my ends. And that was it. She didn't have to style it or anything like that. So she's like, okay. And um, so we go to the washing, the washing bowl and... Um, that's all we do. She didn't really... I'm trying to even think. I think when I went there, my hair was... I won't say that it was flat iron. It was probably curly still already. It was kind of curly. Um, and so we went to the washing bowl and we started off. And she washed my hair. Um, I started feeling a little bit anxiety. Because at that time, I had been... When I first went natural, you know, I was like washing a lot of... YouTube videos on what's the best way to like wash it, your hair when you're natural and different stuff like that um, to keep it from getting really tangly and your hair from knotting up um, and so I just I, I felt like she was washing my hair as if I had a relaxer and so I was feeling a little bit anxiety but you know I just like okay just get over it you know kind of pep talk on myself out into not feeling that way and so I'm 
Um, so she washed my hair, she conditioned it, she let it sit there for a little bit, you know, washed it out, you know, like they do at the salons. Um, and she put the towel on it. And so I always remember, you know, even when I had a relaxer, like after they took that towel out, your hair just looked a mess, a hot mess. Well, it looked a hot mess and it was, it was dry, it was, um, because it had that towel. So on, on top of it, so she did like that with the towel. So she proceeds to start to blow dry my hair. And this is where I really started to feel uncomfortable. It w I should have just said, you know what, never mind. But it's like I'm not one of those people. Like, you try to be nice. And sometimes it's like you just need to be like, no. Well, I didn't do the no thing. I just continued on. And she was yanking. My, my head was yanking. Okay, like literally I should have been wearing a neck brace after that. She was yanking my, trying to blow dry it and just yank it out the naps. And I'm thinking to myself like, oh my God, like you're not doing, you're not. And, okay, but mind you, keep in mind. I haven't been, I wasn't at this point natural for a very long time. Probably like a couple years. So I'm still learning my own natural hair. and still learning things about natural hair. So part of me is conflicted. Like, uh, I don't think she knows what she's doing. But maybe it's just me. Maybe kind of going back and forth. And I'm like, oh my God. But after a while, I was thinking, okay, I don't, I don't think she knew what she, Especially now that I think about it. Like, it really makes me cringe. But the whole time, she's going yank. She has one of the... You know, like a dog brush or a paddle brush. But it wasn't a really big one. So it was like a dog brush. You know what? She, you know what? I think she was using a, a white tooth comb. She may have been using that. So it could have been a white tooth comb. White tooth comb, paddle brush. It was one of the two. Either way, my hair was tangled. It was, it was completely, I mean, if there was no way you can just blow dry it and be okay without getting nuts she did not start from the ends and do it that way and she was just yanking yank I mean she kind of started from the ends but she was just like you know it was just not being careful at all so then I just knew she she obviously did not have experience with natural hair um, and just didn't know what she was doing um, and then she's blow drying it and she's going and she's just yanking 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 the whole time and you can imagine for how long that went on um before it was actually dry and then after she did that she turned my ends and after that experience i would have to say and that was at least maybe man maybe five years ago it's 2016 so, oof, probably longer than that, actually. Um, trying to think. Oh no, it was it was it was probably like maybe five years ago, or because I think I had got that my first kind of like mini big shop in town. Shop <laughs> big, big chop in two thousand and eight. So I would say this is probably like a couple years later. And so. After that experience, I think the only time I went and got my hair done at an actual, I'm trying to think, you know what, yeah, no, that was probably, yeah, that was probably the last time I ever went and got my hair done somewhere. I just, I absolutely cannot, it's so hard for me. I even have a friend right now that does hair, and I probably drive her crazy. Going, well, are you gonna do this? Are you gonna like just? It's so hard for me. I can't. And so anyway, thank you for listening to my horror story, to my hair scare, and um, hopefully you guys have much better experiences than I have had within a salon. Um, but just I would say for someone that's natural, make sure if you do go to a department store or whoever's doing your hair. Make sure they know what they're doing. Like, ask them questions. Like, don't feel bad about asking them questions. Because now I do. Because it's your hair. And if you don't like it after it's done, you're the one who's going to try to have to live with that. So you want to make sure that you made the right decision um, when you chose to have this person do your hair or whatever. So 
Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. If you like this video, please don't forget to just subscribe to my videos. Click the subscribe button down below. And thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you next Thursday. Bye.